I was noticing last night, which I kind of noticed before, but it is interesting. Like it is as trashy of a show as it is. It is also very educational. They have an autistic person, a disabled person, a person who likes to be controlled, a homeless person. It's diversified. Yeah. And you're learning about people that you probably wouldn't otherwise learn about. That are different from us, from everybody. It's good to see people like that on TV because, you know, they're getting a platform and people like, like us are watching said, it and it's normalizing it. And, and you know. we're, getting edu- we're getting educated. Let's talk about Brian first. Well, I think Brian has really redeemed himself. I don't think he really lied to her. He just left out all his past. And then he shows up with flowers and all kinds of gifts for her child. He he's in. That's a pro he move was, right there. He's oh, this is not his first rodeo. No, it's he's not. done this. Now, did you see the previews? Did you stay around to see that there's more coming about his past? Yeah. Well, who who knows what that's going to be? Yeah, I'm worried that's going to be more sketchy. Just when she was warming up to him and smiling and, you know, oh, Brian. Well, however she said it. I mean, you know, it was going well for a minute. Now this new stuff about his past. I think just to jump a little bit, I think you don't have to tell somebody new all about your past. Like I couldn't fit it all in. But like... Maybe that you used to be a drug dealer and you shot yourself is kind of important because you're in the wheelchair. A little bit. Yeah. Also, I mean, you've been talking for two years. What have you you been talking about this whole time? You know, like. Yeah. What are you waiting for? What's your favorite color? Yeah. Well, I think that a lot of couples on this show have that issue. I thought it was interesting that his apology, all, all she really wanted was him to apologize to her for hiding his past. And, and he didn't. And, you know. And then he shows up to her house with flowers and it's, oh, and you gifts. got flowers? Come on in. You know, and it's like everything's good. Child, but gifts for the child. That was really the big thing. Yeah. And he's lucky it's like a two-year-old kid, not like uh, my age or Emma's age, you know. Oh, yeah. That, that wouldn't have flown. That little car thing. You're way over that, Sam. Now, yeah, that Pokemon two-year-old... cards, you would have been happy with. Yeah, but that two-year-old's not even going to remember who he is in a month, you know. like In a day. Uh, yeah. <laughs> A 10-year-old would have been like, who's this strange man coming to our house with gifts? Right, right. But this little guy is just adorable and yeah. doesn't get it. I think there's a lesson there for all of us, you know, to just apologize. And if not, then flowers. Yeah, flowers and apologize, you're, you're back in. <laughs> yeah, any situation, apologize, or jewelry, flowers. Or jewelry always works, too. Might be even better. Who would you like to talk about next? Tiger Lily. Oh, my God. There's a lot oh to talk God. about here. I this mean, is... all I know is the little 22-year-old, someone's got a lot of money. Because yeah. that was way over the top. And he planned it all himself, too. Well, himself. But Yeah. Well, did what? you see all the people dressing him? I mean, I yeah. I didn't understand it all. Plus, did she pay for all her dresses? I mean, I don't know why she changed out of the first one and the second one. They almost looked identical. Big, puffy clouds. Of I light. couldn't even tell that she did change. They looked exactly the same to me. Well, yeah, they would to you. I mean, you know, right? But why change when you're going for the same look? Uh, Disney princess in white. Yeah, but I really want to know, where did that money come from? You know? Right. He's how how did he money. plan that by himself? He didn't plan it by himself. He had a plan. He had some planner helping him, and he picked everything. But the there's flowers, some serious money did you somewhere. See the flowers and where from did he Thailand. Them? Oh my god! And the fireworks. Oh my god! The fireworks alone. I've never seen that at a wedding. No, only if by accident someone had fireworks in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that was that whole thing was crazy and he had three guys dressing him and the rules she's starting to not like the rules even though she likes being really looking for a control guy i mean we said that last week well the weirdest thing that she said that episode was she wouldn't break up with someone she loved no matter what and and we were like 
no matter what. And then she was like, even if they were a serial killer. And we're like, whoa, I'm whoa, what? That. <laughs> you know, even if I found out they were serial killer, if they love me and I'm in love with them and, and you know, they're, they're not going to do it anymore. I forgive yeah. them. As long I'm as like, they don't kill me. Yeah, as long as we're good. <laughs> I... She's like trying to be funny or if she's like legit crazy or maybe it's a mix. I think she's legit. I think, you know, she has so much money. I don't know why she wanted to go on this show, you know, unless she's star for True. attention. I still want to know how old her kids are. Because ha- why do you not bring your kids to your wedding? I don't know. And you're and you're right. Why go on the show? Because the only reasons to go on the show, really, because they're not really giving you anything besides a paycheck or screen time. And it's a teeny tiny paycheck compared to what she's used to. She's traveling with a st- hair stylist and her stylist, her glam yeah. team. Do you know the glam team is making a lot of money? I wonder if they work for her full time. I it mean, kind of seems like it brought them on this trip. I mean, she can't do her own hair with beans and it's all fake. Those are all extensions. You know, I could have that too, but I guess that's what fairy princesses have. They have that long hair. I don't remember yeah. any fairy princess with short hair except Snow White. Oh, I could be Snow White. I have an upbeat one first with Niles, even though I feel super sorry for him. I think he's truly yeah. genuine. It sounds like he has a great family. They don't support this. I totally understand. And Niles, for all his, um, you know, being on the spectrum and, and his issues, he understands his issues. You know, he told us he's, you know, he hasn't flown by himself. I would be afraid to take that kind of flight myself. You know, he's got to tell her. Two days of traveling, I think they yeah. said. Yeah. He's got Something to tell crazy. her he doesn't want to have a wedding. And, you know, even if he wasn't on the spectrum, that is difficult for anybody to do, to back oh, yeah. out of something. I mean, he didn't, he's not backing out, but he, she's pushy. She wants to get married and she made it very clear. She wants to live in the United States with the restaurants and the beautiful buildings and all of that. She wants to live. 100% using him. Yeah. And 100%. he's such a dear. He's such a sweet guy that wants to have a girlfriend that wants to have love in his life. And when yeah. you're on the spectrum like that, sometimes, you know, Sam, not, you know, you know, from watching all the shows and whatnot, it's hard. It's a difficult, difficult road. So here yeah. he's got this young, beautiful woman that wants him. He's just got to come up with the money for her dowry, dowry, is that how you say it, and the wedding. And and he's a dad. He drives for, what does he drive for? Some delivery DoorDash. service. Yeah, Door, well, DoorDash. and he has He's an not actual, make any money. He has an actual job, too. But I mean, oh, he does? I mean for Matilda, I, I forget. He's like some peer reviewer or something. They showed it. Um, but yeah, for Matilda, I mean, even if she comes over here and makes minimum wage, that's still great money for her, you know? And she's getting paid from the show, so... Well, you the know, cost of living is going to be a lot higher, but, but yeah, Niles but if they're living probably, together, yeah, Niles will pay for most of it or they'll live yeah. with his parents, which isn't going to be good. I think he's on the wrong show. I think he needs to be on love on the spectrum. I agree with you. Can you write someone and tell him that <laughs> that's, a, that's the show that would find him somebody to go out with. And it's genuine. Yeah. Yeah. Matilda. Matilda just slid in some guys' DMs. She probably slid in hundreds of guys' DMs. Niles was the one to take the bait, and he's the one dumb enough to think that she's his true love, and he's going to go over there and and get her. Yeah, because he's now fallen in love with her. How long have they been talking online? Quite a while. I forget. I want to say a year and a half. Yeah, I mean, that's still quite a while, but she's only 23. And yeah. she needs to get out of there. And this is the easiest way. Plus, she's going to make money for the sh- from the show, which she's never seen that kind of money. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't know. Is he, is, do you think Niles is going to have the guts to tell her he can't go through with the wedding right now? They need to get to know each other better. I think he has to. I mean, he's he's setting himself up. He didn't even bring a ring. You know, he's he's making sure that it is not happening. Right. He's bringing her jewelry. But he's got to tell her the truth. And then we'll see if she gets mad and dumps him. Because she's got George waiting over in the wings that she can start talking to him and he'll come over. Let's see. How how bad does she want it? What's she willing to put up with? 
<laughs> well, right now she's calling the shots. She's got her mother working on the wedding. You know, she's going to have all this. They got to find out the food, the music, the tents, the whole thing. And this poor Niles, I feel really bad for him. You want to talk about Lauren? Lauren, who literally oh, said there's there's God. gunk. He said there's gunk spewing out of his penis. And he goes, oh, gonorrhea. That makes sense because there's gunk spewing out of my penis. Again, another <laughs> educational moment, people. Telling us what it feels and looks like to have. They're having this beautiful day. She's finally got a boyfriend. She's out swimming in the water. Was that, what was that, Sam, a lake or a river or I don't know. It was gorgeous. Whatever it was, it was gorgeous. She looks beautiful. Everything's wonderful. She's ready to kiss him finally. And then he has to break the news to her. And he was not smooth at all. That was terrible. And he smiled the whole time. I have gonorrhea. That's what is that? She said, it's an STD. (laughs) Well, where'd you get that from? And she goes, AIDS. She goes, AIDS? He goes, no. <laughs> no, not AIDS. This is very natural, this gonorrhea stuff. I, You know, of course I've been having sex. What? I thought we were, you, you told me you loved me. I thought we were in a relationship. Well, and you didn't tell me you were having sex. Well, I figured you must have known that. Was- all right. So first of all, here's, here's how you do it. Not that I would know, but here's how you do it. You go swimming. You have a great day. Then you go out to dinner street food, whatever they do. You wait till she's eaten. So she's in a good mood. And then you say, by the way, I found out some not so great news. And that's when you do it. And he was just, he just, they got out of the water and he goes, we can't kiss. I have gonorrhea. I know. He was well, so bad all, about it. He should have already got his doctor appointment and he should have gone right away. I well, mean, he, he's in the Philippines. He doesn't know how to get a doctor's appointment. Well, Would you? Needs one. No, but I wouldn't have gonorrhea either. I don't sleep around. Okay, that's another lesson. Don't sleep around. Okay, that's what I got out of that. Nope, I don't want gonorrhea. Who does, right? So don't sleep around. And if you do have something, get to the doctor. And you know, here's the problem. He's poor. He doesn't have any money. How's he going to pay for the doctor? And he's in the Philippines, mom. He doesn't even know where a doctor is or how to get to one or any. Like, I don't don't blame him for waiting. She's going to help him figure it out. Do you think she is? She might be mad. I can't yeah. see you right now. I can't look at you. You have gonorrhea. Ah! That's what, how I would react. <laughs> and it was weird, Don't too. Don't touch me. That's what they, I would say. They didn't even talk about it. He was just like, of course I've been sleeping with other people. Yeah, like, of course. I knew. I figured you knew. Yeah. How he could have said. Know? He could have said, I'm sorry. It was miscommunication. We never talked about being exclusive. You know. Okay, so again, this is another lesson, people. When you first meet someone, you want to go out with them. You got to just be up front. You know, I only sleep with one person at a time. You just tell them straight up. Or, you know, I'm not going to be, you know, we just met and I'm seeing other people too. I mean, I don't know, but it's better to be up front about it. Maybe it's better to be up front if you're not sleeping around. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But he did I her mean, wrong. Yeah. They've only been talking for six months. I know. And the first time they talked, he told her he loved her. Again, this is a woman who's never had a boyfriend. That's manipulative. It's like when Bridget told me, you know, the people you don't know, but Bridget was taking care of my mom. And she was really worried that this guy that she'd been with, you know, he was with someone else and she couldn't understand. She said, Robin, he told me he loved me. Oh, my God. Well, here's another example of this. Some of these guys, they tell you they love you. You got to take it with a grain of salt. Am I right, Sam? Now, Sam, I yeah. know you're serious. You just don't go around telling girls you love them. No. I mean, he's crazy, right? Yes. But yes. also, it is manipulative telling a girl that you love them the first time you're talking. And for someone like Faith. never had a boyfriend. Yeah. For someone like Faith, who's never had a boyfriend, never been kissed, you know, none of that. And of course, she's going to grab onto it. You know, right, believe because it. if some guy told me that he loved me the first time I saw him on the line, I'd say, you're full of shit. That's the answer. Okay, <laughs> that's the ladies? normal answer. Yeah, and man, that's the normal answer. The one that works. You're full of shit. What are you talking about? <laughs> you love me? Get a life. OK, I'm giving you guys what to say. Don't do don't you know, don't do what little faith did and go. I love you, too. Yeah, and she's a hopeless romantic, so of course she thought they were exclusive right from the jump, you know? Exactly. Whereas for him, she's just some girl. She's the Philippine dream, you know? 
the Philippine dream that he really does want. But of course, now he's got to tell her he doesn't want to be monogamous. And that is not going to fly after all this. I mean, because first of all, most women want, and men, I believe men too, want to be monogamous. That's the goal. Now, sometimes things happen, but that's the goal. That's the way it should be. And then to have a guy tell you out of the gate, he's going to be honest. I'm, I don't want to be monogamous. Why do you want to start in a relationship with that? Yeah. And always worrying. Oh, God, he saw that one. Oh, my God, look at he's looking over there. I, I couldn't be with someone like that. Yeah. And honestly, if he's smart, he won't tell her that. He will He will marry her. He will get the Filipino you know, citizenship or whatever. And then there's ladyboys galore over there. There's fields of ladyboys he can break up with Faith or whatever once he gets to citizenship and go do whatever. So why do you think he wants to marry her? If there's tons of lady boys over there, does he just, does he need to be married to someone in the Philippines to stay there? I mean, I don't know. For citizenship, yeah, probably, if it's anything like here. So, well, it would not be fair to her to oh, marry no. her and not tell her that he's yeah. really just oh, no. wants to be in the Philippines because there's hundreds of lady boys and that's where he wants to be. <laughs> And I'm blown cheap. away by this. Again, more education. I didn't know this about the Philippines. Also, his stomach must be insane because they just show him eating street food. He's eating anything, you know, like well, you, well, you got to watch the water when you go to these countries. Well, he's all obviously got gonorrhea, so we'll get something. that will kill everything. <laughs> everything he's got <laughs> in his gut. He's so skinny. He's probably pooping it out every day. Yeah, I can't imagine. Well, he doesn't have any money to eat either. I don't know how he's getting the food. She must be buying it for him. Oh, it's a bad relationship. Uh, yeah. I'm predicting it's not going to work. If and she Faith, marries him, she's a, yeah. she's just so naive. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. She's so naive and inexperienced. Yes. And she's a hopeless romantic, you know? That's why it is good to get a little experience when you're young. And if people break up with you, just, just chalk it up to experience. I know it's going to hurt and all that, but... But it might be better in the long run because you learn something, right, Sam? Sam's been broken up with, you mm -hmm. know, and you learned a lot from it, right? And you know that it was good in the end because it's not how you start. It's how you finish. So sometimes That's you right. got to kiss a lot of frogs or you got to, in Sam's case, a lot of spiders, you know, to <laughs> find the right one. We have Chitty and Renee. Not happened with Renee much, except they were walking through the forest or jungle or whatever, and she's so happy that he's blind, and she she's just getting crazier by the second. Well, she's really happy that he's blind because she's so insecure about her looks and her body. She doesn't feel good about who she is, so she thinks, I'm with a blind guy. He can't see me. He can like me for who I am. Meanwhile, he's learning who she is, and he's kind of thinking she's a conspiracy gal, which she is. And she's ugly on the inside. And when you're with someone blind, you got to be pretty on the inside. Right, right. And she, I don't know. I feel sorry for her too. She's got a lot of issues. Um, but she's, what do you say about her? She's kind, she's not in reality. My first thought when I was watching the scene and she's talking about he's blind was that she needs to just grow up and get some confidence, you know, like, you can't just like him because he's blind. Like there's probably plenty of other people that you're compatible with that aren't blind. Right. But she only likes him because he's blind. Right. And it sounds like she's been taken advantage of in her younger day. She has two kids and she really didn't have relationships with the father. So that means she's yeah. just having sex. She's got some trauma for sure. For sure. And issues. But she spoke to him online for five years and he did lead her on the wrong way. He really did. Well, he you know. suddenly became spiritual. And he didn't tell her. He yeah. didn't tell her, you know, and that's, again, wrong. And she traveled all that way expecting this big love romance, this big physical relationship, and she's gotten nothing except Did guiding you, him around and arguing. Uh, with his pickup line, though? Yes. Do you remember what it is? Well, I don't remember what exactly what it is, but she fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. He he goes, can these fish survive without water? And she was like, no. <laughs> and I he goes, I can't survive without you. Yeah, that would be me without you. <laughs> yeah, I. she loved that. That was so stupid. She loved that, but that's going to keep her on the show another couple weeks. Because I don't know how long she's going to put up with that. And I don't really think 
He may say that, but I don't know if he's really sold on the idea of being with her. I mean, if he wants to break up with her, it's simple. Just take her to the market again. And chop off a chicken's head. That's it. Relationship over. Last one is uh, Vea and Sonny. We didn't really see much of them. We just saw Vea uh, traveling with Rory to the airport, and it was coming up that they arrive. And it's like a whole big scene. Yeah. And here's my thoughts on them. She shouldn't be on the show. She should be with the boyfriend, Rory. Mm -hmm. Rory, is that his name, Rory? Rory. 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 He's cute. He cares about her. He seems like a great guy. Any guy that's going to fly around the world with some girlfriend. I mean, you know, my guy thought that um, there's no way he's not in love with her still. They were flirting in the airport. It was like so blatant. And poor Sonny just doesn't look her type. And he's going to get really mad when he sees the boyfriend. I mean, we've seen some previews. And it's just going to be awful. And she should just turn around, go home, get back with the boyfriend, pick up her dog, and live a happy life. Because she should never have got online and started all this to begin with. Did you see how many flowers Sonny had on the bed? Oh, yeah. The bed was covered. It was covered with flowers. Way too many. (laughs) I said, do you know who? You don't do that for me. (laughs) And then remember, Tiger Lily had flowers the first night, too. Remember? Yeah. That must mean something. I don't know. I think it's very messy and whatever. Who it's cares? like cliche, but yeah, she had like, I don't even know how many flowers worth that was. You know, you're just supposed to take like a handful of petals and like spew them, but like he had it covered. It was he hilarious. He had it covered and he laid them out in order and then he had a bouquet of black roses. I have never seen black roses. They must be dyed, right? Oh, yeah. I've never seen that. Why she wanted black roses? Well, whatever. Also, his unibrow too. I, I don't know why the production isn't helping him fix that he's got the the full unibrow maybe they want him to be himself i guess i mean yeah they they probably love it they're like oh okay just another little detail you know yeah for us to talk about the unibrow thank you producers we love talking (laughs) about that (laughs) well this isn't going to work he's going to blow up he has anger management problems she still has the really cute old boyfriend that I would never have let him go. Yeah. Oh, they're a hundred percent getting back together. I think so. No doubt. Let me see if I wrote down anything else with them. I just wrote that he wants her back. They're flirting. Yeah. See, we're on the same page. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. I mean, it was basically just a plane ride is all we saw with them. Right. We'll see more next week. A lot of flirting. Yeah. I'm excited for next week when they meet and Sonny, finds out that Rory is there because that's going to be a shit show. It's going to be a hoot. I can't yeah. wait. The drama just keeps unfolding. And I can't wait to see Renee fight with the sister because that was coming up in the previews too. Yeah, well, we know that's going to happen more than once. And the producers don't even have to push that. That's just a natural thing that's going to take place. Yeah, totally organic. Yeah, totally organic. That's the best kind. Yeah, I- I'm excited for this whole season. Uh... Me too. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll see you next time, Mom. I can't wait to to watch episode six next week.